What is up guys, and I've just jumped straight into this battle because it's pretty self-explanatory. So uh, on the one side we have um, snowy rebel soldiers that we see on Hoth, um, except the planet that they are fighting on today is Renva. Um, although it doesn't share many characteristics with Renva, that's what we're going to count it as. So as you can see, the rebels are, a bit, are at a bit of a disadvantage here. Um, with the stormtroopers, uh, the snow troopers rather, uh, they have they have the high ground, which uh, can prove to be pretty problematic for the rebels here. And uh, as you can see, a lot of them are just crossing the river at the moment, um, trying to trying to make it trying to make it across. But we've already got a couple of casualties over here. Um, the stormtrooper snipers are doing some work all the way at the top here. Uh, also, tell me if you guys like these kind of just straight into it kind of videos where I don't I don't kind of ramble on a little bit at the start. I mean, I don't mind, but. Hey, I just wanted to try something new, and yeah, we, we're just getting straight into it. Um, so, some of the stormtroopers have been pushed back, and I'll give you a closer look at the scout troopers here that were pretty much on the front lines, and we're taking a look for any insurgent activities. And lo and behold, there were a ton of rebels. An absolute ton of rebels. So, we've got the last rebels just crossing the bridge right now. Um, a couple falling. Um... No casualties in the river, actually, yet. Um, a couple offshore, but hey, that's that's to be expected. Um, but yeah, a lot of uh, the the brunt of the casualties are just trying to climb up the hill and get to a good vantage point where they can actually take on this imperial stronghold up here, which looks extremely uh, fortified and extremely powerful. I mean, look at all these uh, snipers over here, They're just laying down the law. I mean the. The animations look really cool as well, so yeah, gotta gotta love this, gotta love this mod. It's it's uh, pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, the rebels aren't faring too well down here. They do have reserves at the back there, but the ones that have tried have been obliterated, as seen in the case of this fine gentleman over here. This one managed to just escape with his life. Um, and not all have crossed the river yet. I think some are a bit scared. They've seen what have, what, what's happened to their comrades. They're not willing. Oh, we've got a radio man over here. Who will probably fall in a second. Due to his, disadvantage, his disadvantageous spot over there. Don't know why he, he won't move. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll give him some help. Let's get him out of there. Get him to this rock. I mean, radio men are important. We have to remember that. So, you know, give give, uh, give the rebels as many advantages as, as possible. And the stormtroopers are sensing a, a bit of hesitance from the rebels, and they're capitalizing on this by uh, charging down this hill, actually. So we've only got a few back at the main main Imperial base over here. Um, only, only a couple that are just staying put. Uh, but the rest are actually going down this hill, and they are ready to confront... The Rebels, this is going to be interesting. I'm keen to see what happens. Um, I haven't actually played this battle too many times, so this is kind of new to me. It looks like it's going to be an interesting series of events. Look at this. Huh. Deserves a couple of screenshots, you know. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we got Rebels falling, falling, falling. We'll take a look. And they, the, the Imperials here still have the high ground. That's the thing. The Rebels are still struggling. They're on this um, kind of decline over here. And yeah, they're not, they're not faring too well. We've still got some di uh, down by the river here. We're, they're, they're, provide they're providing a bit of cover fire for their boys up the top. But uh, I doubt it's going to be, it's gonna be you know, good enough to scare off all the Imperials over here. They are taking a couple of casualties, but I doubt as many as the, as the Rebels are. Let's take a couple more screenshots, I reckon. Yeah, it's a massacre. It's a massacre on this hill. Stormtroopers just... I mean, the... Uh, yeah, Stormtroopers slash, slash Snowtroopers still have all the advantages here as they're, like, kind of behind the rocks. Um, they've got, you know, a couple of obstructions to block them from the Rebel point of view. Rebels, yeah... They, they've, they've got some alright cover, but they're not utilizing it as well as uh, some of the snowtroopers here are. 
Like, like look at all these guys here. I mean, that's that's some great positioning right there. Um, gotta take a gotta take a screenshot of that as well. Jeez, this is a bit of a stalemate. This is uh, this is interesting. I'm, i yeah. We've still got some um troopers back here just waiting. Our furthest being uh, the trooper over here. Just you know, a lone wolf doing his own thing, not staying with the pack. I like it, I like it. Hmm. This is in a really cool position there as well. Kind of just <laughs> taking a bit of fire. Yeah. That is cool. Um, yeah, as I said, a bit of a stalemate. And they're so close to each other as well. It's And the, the stormtroopers actually look like they're taking... Uh, a few more casualties than the rebels here, or are uh, kind of faltering due to the the rebels' just manpower. I guess they they look like they have a a, a lot more, um, a lot more men than the Imperials have at their at their disposal. I mean, this is an Imperial garrison after all, and um, their their main advantage is you know having defensive capabilities. While the rebels, they just need they just need the manpower, and they have that manpower. So. Yeah, I think I think it'd be smarter if the snowtroopers just went back up to the little fortification here and uh, fired from there. But hey, they got a bit um, they got a, they got a bit gung ho and yeah, just went straight into it. Um, I don't think it's gonna pay off, but yeah, we'll see. Just doing a slow pan right now. See a couple of stormtroopers falling. Take a couple screenshots. Been a bit addicted to them lately, especially on a on a map like this. Yeah, the stormtroopers. Uh, the yeah, the stormtroopers have taken <laughs> considerable casualties. And if I were if I were the captain of that little detachment, I'd be uh, ordering my troops back to. The defensive position over there, but hey, AI will be AI, and uh, they thought it was a smart move to charge on the rebels here. And the rebels have taken heaps. Uh, a, a lot of them have died on this hill, but they are still standing strong. Um, and they've got like just cover fire from down here, and it just—it's crazy. We can get some more reinforcements over here because they're not doing much. We're gonna see if we can actually surround the rebels. Yeah, we're gonna get some um snow troopers over here. We're gonna kind of like f flank them a little bit and see what happens. Oh, a couple are falling in the initial run. Um. Oh, that wasn't too smart. No, nope. one, at least one survived. That's got to count for something. Um, no, it's just looking like a bit of a stalemate at the moment. And I don't know what all these, all these uh, snow troopers are doing back here. So we're going to recycle them back into the battle. And yeah, we're going to see if they can make a mad dash, a quick dash. See how many can like, if we, if we can encircle... Seeing what we can do here to make the battle, you know, that just... Uh, so here they go, here they go. Okay, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm kind of sending Imperial troops to their deaths over here. But, uh... All, all in the name of a, of a good battle. That's, uh, that's my justification. Okay, we're gonna round up all the stragglers and we're gonna put them into uh, into another safe spot over here just so I don't send them to their deaths again but um, we're gonna try and get them to do like one last push 
And we're going to get some here as well. And, you know, round up all these, all these stragglers and get them into the firefight. The brothers need as uh, much help as they can get. Okay, here we go. Only a couple more left. Yeah, it's a bit of a brutal battle if I uh, do say so myself. Um, but no, it's been really fun to do as well. So, you know, that's a, that's a plus. Um, and yeah, it's just, just plateaued a little bit. But I want to, I want to, I want to revive it. And uh, get some more snow troopers into the fray, get them all into the fray. And see what happens. I mean, yeah, we've got, we've got those reinforcements. See if there's a... Yeah, there's a couple of stragglers still here. Get them out. Get them out. They're out of the map. Trying to desert. I'll leave them there. Jeez, though, the rebels have kind of... Just... <laughs> solidified their position I guess like near these some of these rocks some of these rocks are providing heaps good cover um, especially for the guys on the right here who haven't actually taken many casualties at all um, maybe it's due to like the lack of pressure or maybe they're just you know really good uh, soldiers for the rebellion deserve a promotion Get these three down. So the the snow troopers look look like they want to back off a little bit, um, and that's cool. We're gonna get the rebels up. We're gonna get them to chase. Give give uh, give some good chase, because we don't want any uh, snow dirty stone troopers getting away. Get him in there. It's gonna be interesting. There we go. Exchanging some shots. And where's this one sneaky snow trooper on the side? There he is. What is he doing? He's not even a sniper as well. <laughs> Okay, well now the, um, the Stormtroopers have gotten a bit brazen. I don't know if the Rebels took a lot of casualties there. Apparently so. Apparently so. Well, uh, they, they tried. They tried. Um, let's see if these last couple of Rebels have what it takes to defeat, like, what, 20, 20 Snowtroopers left? The, casualty, uh, the casualties for this battle are going to be really interesting, so I'm keen to show those. Um, but first of all, we just got to make sure every single dirty rebel uh, dies. Um, to be a bit blunt. And yeah, but this this battle was a massacre. But uh, it was large scale, so it was really fun to do. Um, and it was a bit longer. May have been like a little um, a little boring at times, which I apologize for. But hey, I just like kind of watching these battles, you know, and absorbing the atmosphere. And everything like that. So, yeah. And uh, that looks like it's uh, it's a cleanup, to be honest. Doesn't look like there's any rebels left. So, anyways, yeah, that's it. That's it. The snow troopers are victorious. And let's take a look at how many roughly are remaining. Okay, uh, quite a quite a few, quite a few, quite a few. Um, but they've taken hella casualties um 
And if, if I were their superior officer, I would be kind of mad because they abandoned their defensive positions uh, to chase down the rebels that they thought were going to be an easy, you know, an easy route. Apparently not. Anyways, let's take a, yeah, let's take a look at these casualties. Jeez. Okay. So the yellow indicates the rebels and the red indicates the Imperials. So we'll take a look at the, at the early stages of the battle. And as you can see, we've only got a couple of rebels that, that, that died from, uh, you know, some rogue sniper fire. We got like around, around 10. So like pretty unlucky for them. They didn't get into the battle. Um, and when they were charging in, they were obviously kind of shot down. Um, we got one on the bank of this river. Not too many whatsoever. We've got some scout troopers over here that were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, and the other scout troopers, they just retreated, uh, well in advance, which is pretty good, but still took a lot of casualties around here. And when the brunt of the casualties came in, uh, was around here for the Imperials when they charged down. And if you look up here, there were literally no casualties. So the rebels couldn't touch this defensive area right here. Um, so as I said, it was kind of a stupid move, but AI will be AI. And here are the disastrous results. Um, so yeah, we got a... And the yellow, just of course, you know, we know where the rebels died. They died on this hill, trying to climb it, trying to get to this position up here. But it ultimately didn't work out. And the Imperial Snowtroopers were victorious and established their base on Renvar uh, without any more hassle from the Rebellion. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different Men at War Assault Squad 2 video, uh, Star Wars Galaxy at War. And do let me know your thoughts on this on this kind of format in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next video.